What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is Disney Plus has officially launched. Disney Plus, if you didn't know, is gonna be competing against Netflix and uh, any other streaming offering in the world right now. Um, so if, you wanna, if you're into Disney stuff, the content, have it be movies, TV shows, original content, you're definitely gonna to wanna to sign up. And it's reasonably priced too. It's like $6.99 a month or $69 for the whole single year. Launched actually, supposed to launch today, actually launched last night. I was actually watching a couple things on there and loads up very fast. The videos look crisp and, and, and really high quality. They did a good job on here. It's easy to use this app. You've got um, home search. You can download movies as well and TV shows. The Simpsons are on here because they own like Fox content. They own all kinds of stuff that you either knew or didn't know. Um, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, just to name a few of the stuff they own there. And again, if you want to sign up, it, it's ready right now. I just search Disney Plus uh, and you'd be good, good to go with that. I shall link it down below if you want to do that. Next up, Google Stadia. So it's gonna officially launch on November 19th and it's gonna be their new game streaming service where you'll be able to stream games and up to 4K 60 frames per second depending upon your internet connection from like a phone or from a, uh, a Google Pixel Book. There's all kinds of devices you can do it from that you really wouldn't be able to play these type of games previously in the past from. Well, you might wanna know what the game lineups are going to be and they're gonna launch with 12 games. Those are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Destiny 2 The Collection, GYLT, Just Dance 2020, uh, Kind, I guess that is. Mortal Kombat 11, Red Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is an awesome game. Thumper, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Samurai Showdown. And the last story of the day, as you know, the Galaxy S11 is right around the corner, being released in March of some time. And then also the Snapdragon 865 is also going to be launching very, very soon as well. Maybe even before uh, the Galaxy S11 does, maybe like the end of this year, early next year, that it will be launched. And speaking of what it's going to come with it, if you end up, or at least the capabilities of the uh, Snapdragon 865, it's going to be mostly for uh, the improvement of delivering better 5G modem capacity and performance previously than what 5G modems have been able to do. Also a more powerful graphics chip will be in there and also better video encoding. It's supposed to be able to handle video up to 8K. Now it doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna be able to shoot video on your phone in the back and the front cameras up to 8K. I highly doubt that, um, but it would probably be able to handle it at the very least. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, did you sign up for Disney Plus or are you gonna wait on it? Let me know in the comments down below. I already signed up for it. I got a deal, like three year deal. It ended up being like three or $4 a month if you pre-ordered it and bought it for three, for three straight years. So let me know if you guys are gonna get it. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.